What's oh, poppin' my homies? I'm sorry. I know. I know. It's been a week since my last video. And for that, I apologize. Um, I've been busy doing nothing. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a very severe addiction problem. Not what you're thinking. It's not opioids, it's not weed, it's not heroin, it's not coke. It's fucking Madden football video game on Xbox. When that, came, when that fucking game comes out, I lose my mind with regard to basically everything else on the planet. I just sit here like I'm 12 fucking years old playing a video game. It, I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> Ladies, listen. If your boyfriend or husband... If when they met, they said they like to play video games, but when you got together, I'm like, oh, not so much anymore. Trust me, he's lying. Once you're addicted to video games, it never stops. <sighs> so, having said all of that, that's not really where I've been for the entire week, but that has eaten up a majority of it. Um, things have been going okay, you know? Uh, I still struggle with mixed episodes occasionally, um, but they, they're shorter than they used to be. I think Seracol has a lot to do with that. Um, my diet is still going. It's not even a diet. It's just how I live. Uh, I eat almost no sugar anymore. I had some Saturday, had a little slice of cake, had a little party. Um, and a Sprite. Man, that Sprite was fucking good. But outside of that, we're nine days into October. I have spent exactly zero dollars on eating out. Um, I was spending way too much money, man. Just because I was being fucking lazy. There was no other reason or excuse that I can come up with. I cut my yard today, man. It looks fucking good as fuck. Um, <laughs> and football. Officially real football, not fucking Madden Xbox football. Real motherfucking Saints versus Jaguars is on my TV right now. Right now. I get a I get a, a surge of adrenaline and excitement and euphoria and happiness when football season officially starts. It affects my mood as as much as anything else that happens in my fucking entire life. Um I just, I love everything about it. I like watching it. I like breaking down every play. I like trying to predict what's going to be the next play. I like calling penalties before the refs do. It's just, it was a big part of my life growing up. I played football from age six until I graduated from high school every year at every level imaginable. Um, and I played for a high school that happens to be a powerhouse in Louisiana. The school that I went to, um, during the time that I played, we lost one game in four years. And um, uh, we have won, since the school opened in 68, we've won 27 state championships. That's a pretty solid effort by anybody's measure. Um, so I'm accustomed to winning. I hate fucking losing. I hate losing at anything, but I hate it especially. In sports oh boy um, I, <laughs> um yeah so you know just still everything I'm doing is uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing I'm getting a new door because my door has a doggy door which is ridiculous because I don't have a dog I never have not at this place anyway and um it's just a little, um, it's a little raggedy. It leaks, water gets inside and causes damage to my floor. So, I'm having the door replaced. I finally found a place that's gonna do it. They're gonna come out, um, I don't know, on the 15th or something, and replace my door, the door frame, the door jam, the subfloor right underneath the door needs to be replaced. 
because it's got some water damage. Um, so that is expensive and was time consuming to find someone who would work on a mobile home. It's not very easy. Uh, my beard looks really long, man. I'm starting to resemble ZZ Top a little bit. Um, it's all right, I like it. This is my look. This is my look. Shaved head, long ass white goatee. Um, let's see, my diet, as I said before, it's not really a diet, it's just how I fucking eat and live. Uh, I consume on average about 130 grams of fat a day because I put a bunch of butter and coconut oil and shit in my coffee. Um, no carbohydrates, no sugar, and I'm down. Okay, when I started this on June 1st, I was 187. This morning, I weighed 162. 160 is the magic number for me. I've been at that weight before. I'm comfortable at it. Any, any lower than that, and I start feeling a little fragile. Um, nothing cute about getting bumped into by a 12-year-old girl in Walmart and getting knocked halfway across the store. It's not fun. It's fucking, it's not cute. So, but for my height, for those of y'all that don't know, I'm not fucking tall. I'm like 5'6". Actually, to be honest, I don't think I've ever said this before on camera. My, my actual technical to the millimeter height is five feet, five and a half inches. I say five six because my Doc Martens adds about a half inch to my height. So I appear to be five six, I'm really five five and a half. And a half is important, it is. It's important for me, it's not important for people that are five nine. They can give a fuck. Um, so anyhow, the point I was trying to make with that long winded nonsense was, um, the weight that I'm shooting for at my height is appropriate. And you know what? I don't really fucking care what anybody thinks. I know what I'm comfortable at. I know how I want clothes to fit. I know how I feel, my energy level, um, my nimbleness. I like to be I like to be light on my feet so I can maintain my cat-like reflexes. <laughs> uh, all right, so, recap. Things have been going okay. Seroquel knocks me out like nothing I've ever taken before. And um, anyone who's taken Seroquel can back me up on this. It is humanly nearly impossible to lose weight while you're taking Seroquel because it does a couple of things. And this is pretty standard for all antipsychotics. Um, it increases your appetite to about double of what it normally is. It causes your metabolism to slow down. You have a rise in lipid levels and you carve, you, you carve, you crave sugar and carbohydrates specifically. Could there be a nastier set of side effects for any medication? It, that's why so many people gain so much weight on Risperdal, um, Cyprexa, Seroquel. It's just, so the fact that I've lost the weight that I have while taking 400 milligrams of Seroquel a night, it, it should, it's mind boggling. I don't know how I've done it. Um, I guess if you want something bad enough, you just, you fight through the hunger pains. Um, but even with that, Seroquel slows down your metabolism. So it's harder to burn calories that you could normally burn otherwise. Uh, yeah, most people gain an average of 20, 30 pounds when they start taking Seroquel. It's just what it is. Um, but I refuse. I'm not gonna let it get me. Uh, still planning the trip. Tornal ring. Um, getting down the last couple of months here. So, gotta, uh, gotta really snap some things into place. Um, I have a security system in my place now. ADT came out, installed a motion detector, sensors on all the doors, and I got signs and stickers everywhere. And I have a camera on top of my computer case aiming at the front doors. And I have a live 
24-7 live feed of my living room when I access the app via the ADT app on my phone or tablet. Yeah, I can log in, fucking picture comes up, and I see in real time what's going on in my place. Generally speaking, there's not anything going on. But, just in case somebody kicks in that fucking doggy door and sneaks in, you're going to get caught, so don't even try. And if I'm home when you do that, you're going to get shot. So, there are a couple of things you might want to stay away from. Um, but that's really all I have, man. Um, I, I, I'm, I say I'm um a lot for some reason. I wish I could stop doing that. I, I never used to do it before. I don't know why I'm doing it now. I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I would like to get back into making videos every morning, like five or ten, five or six minutes, just to say, hey, uh, I hope that this video and seeing my gray bearded mug has brought a glimmer of happiness into your world. If it has, then I have served my purpose. Um, I have a special connection with everyone who is also bipolar, like me. Uh, speaking of bipolar, Demi Lovato evidently has checked into a um, addiction clinic in Arizona, which is like $10,000 a week or some shit, but she's got an unlimited amount of money, so whatever. I hope she gets right. I really do. Having a mental illness is hard enough. Having it in addition to an addiction is, is fucking brutal. I can't even. I just can't. Uh, fuck, man. So, look, my subscriber count is still climbing daily, so thank you so much if you're newly subscribed. If you have been bored to tears by watching my video, I do not apologize. Watch something else. I am rapidly approaching 15,000 15, subscribers. At this time last year, I had like 800 or something like that. I don't know. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I reach the people who reach out to me and leave a comment and hit the like button on every single one of my videos. I fucking love y'all to pieces for that. I really do. And if you're new and you have a question, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer. There's no guarantee that I will, but I'll try. Um, at the very least, I will give your comment a heart. Unless you say something ugly and mean, and then I will remove the comment. It's my channel, my rules. I don't want to see ugliness and negativity and hateful remarks in the comment section. So, uh, I will remove them and not give you any fucking airtime whatsoever. How you like those apples? Uh, yeah, so, everybody have a great Thursday. I swear, I promise to the universe that I will try like hell to not wait another week to upload a video, but for now, this is going to have to do. So, everybody, I got to get back to my game, and uh, I got to upload this, add some music like I normally do, and um, yeah, I will talk to everyone later. Till my next video. I know what's up. Everybody stay cool. Peace. I'm out.